hope everybody's having a blessed day. We're about to go to another shoot location um, to do some progress content for a construction company that has been doing this one project. It's gonna take about five months, so I go once every three weeks on the weekend just to capture the content and document their progress from start to finish, as this is probably one of the biggest projects that they've had since they started their construction company. And then after this, I'm gonna go get a haircut. Just came back from a shoot prior to this with another roofing company that is looking to up their marketing and you know, that's why they brought me on and really dope experience so far. The year has been really dope so far too, since January, uh, went to Orlando. All right, we're out here in Florida, Orlando, Florida, just finished our training throughout the week. Today's like a free day where we get to go and do our own thing. Started off, we're gonna go to the gun range. I've always wanted to go to the gun range, but never had the chance to to make it out. But so I'll probably get food a little bit after and then go from there. Um, honestly, this whole trips have been like mad, mad, mad dope since the beginning, man. Like first couple of days, like I was just like, uh, I don't know what this is about, but like as they started diving into the material and stuff like that, it's been mad dope. Oh, we, are, we got we got my man Austin right here. Yeah, <laughs> um, about to catch an Uber real quick. Head to the gun range. Let me see if this is the right Uber. This. How you doing, boss? Let's go. How's your day been? Great. Yeah? Yep. That's what's up. That's what's up. You ever been to this gun range? This is my first time. Um, Oak Ridge? I feel like I have, but it's been a long time. Yeah. What time do you plan on driving tonight? Uh, I'm going late tonight. Okay. Just started or what? Nah, I've been going all day. Okay. Well, no, my parent teacher conference this morning. type outfits yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been liking that <laughs> alright check this out just made it to the gun range oak gun range I don't know if y'all can see that right there it's pretty wait, wait, check out this check out this uh, Corvette out here yo shout out to Shank and Kev bro shout out to them for fucking making me vlog all of this shit bro I was about to sit up in the hotel and just vibe out for a little bit before we went out. Um, but yeah. How you doing, brother? How you doing, boss? I have some uh, friends up in here that came earlier. Group of 10? A uh, bunch of people, like a team building event for yeah, a job yeah. or something? Roofers or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. All, they're all in there. He's with that group that's in there. He's just coming in now. Just, uh, do you have eyes and ears? Nah. Okay, hang on one second. Any more of you guys we should expect? Y'all are in here heavy, boy. I hope not. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty you know 40 of you? <laughs> Half of them went golfing. So. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first walked in, I was like, y'all are sports team? Or you guys are, <laughs> is this like a team building event through a company or yeah, something? Yeah, a roofing company. Yeah. Gotcha. We're from Canada. Are you in town for a convention or something like that? We have a trade show? January training. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're out here for a week. We leave Sunday. Ah, okay, cool. Yes, sir. I've never been to a gun range, so I've been wanting to go since like a couple of years ago, since my birthday. And they started posting in the group chat saying, yo, we're going to gun range, so we're going to go. Do you want me to step on there and add them on this one? Yeah, they're under lane seven. All right. Yeah, just to add uh, one set of ears, one set of eyes, and the body. All right. There's eyes and ears for you. And there are 
what we've got you guys is on three lanes, five, six, and seven. They've got a Glock handgun, an AK, a nine mil, and right. then they've got a pump shotgun in there. Biggest group in there, uh, but yeah, we just have everyone on one tab figured okay. out at the end. Yeah, everyone's just together right now. Okay. So I just go through here. Yeah, All right. Just make sure you let that first door fully. Oh, that one right there. Just make sure that first door fully shuts before you actually open it and into the range. All right, I appreciate it. Take care. I'm about to check this out. Oh, there we go. What's going on, buddy? Let's go. The media bro. team is here. What's <laughs> up? How y'all doing, man? Hey, how's it going? Oh, so I feel Look at that. Those look nice. Hey, where do you want to go? Imagine you get. Imagine. <laughs> no pressure, bro. Really? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You saw that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball. Uh, is that what you do? Yeah, for yeah, real? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Don't pop your head. Very soon. Yeah, and actually try to hit it. Hey! <laughs> had a chance to keep going back and forth to Montreal for different, you know, events and shoots and stuff like that. All right, yo, we're in Montreal for the first time in, what, one out of three times this week. First Saturday, then we're back on a Thursday, and then we're back on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look at this. Look at this. You looking at the front cam, I'm looking at the back cam. Which one's better? Which one's better? Okay. I don't know. Yo, what's good, man? Shanking rapping to my boo. That's it? You know what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? What's popping today, bro? Uh, we, we, we finna find out what's going on. So, uh, shit show. All right, bro. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to actually vlog today. I don't give a f Today, niggas are vlogging. Niggas are fucking vlogging for no reason. No f reason at all. Niggas are going to vlog. And hopefully Shank vlogs too. I don't know. Check it out. We just touched down at MTL. Another, another fucking. You said been done what? Huh? All right, yo. We just touched down at MTL once again for a birthday weekend. It's gonna be mad lit. It's gonna be mad crazy. I'm gonna show y'all the Airbnb right now, real quick. Uh, we'll go from the front. We'll go from the front. All right, so we walk in the door. We got this room right here, bong bong. Then we walk this way. We got the little nice ass kitchen, little kitchen, cool. You wanna play pool? You wanna play The Simpsons? Got that for you. We got a nice little living room area. We got new in the cut. Yes, sir. We got Greg getting changed. But yo, this is about to be the most epic four days of y'all lives. And I'm about to share every moment with you as much as I can on the vlog. I know last time I said I was going to vlog, but I didn't really vlog. But this weekend, I'm going to make it up for y'all. And I'm going to vlog. I haven't even put out much vlogs, but, but we're going to vlog this weekend. It's a must. It's a must. Like, we can't not vlog. Like, there's no way... We cannot vlog anyway. Fit check real quick. Cool little calm fit. And then a little Cardi got the Chelsea boots. We're going to Burner Boy today, bro. We're going to Burner Boy today. We are about to, it's going to be a, a lit weekend. 
nonetheless. Today's Thursday. We're going Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's going to be mad dope. And I'm going to vlog as much of it as I can. Just to show you guys. We don't just sit beside a computer and, you know, edit videos and shit like that. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy Montreal, the hometown, the birthplace of EK Visions. And it's always love when we come back. I don't know where we're at, but we're amongst a lot of whole motherfucking cars right now. So this is what's happening. I need, I need lip chat right now. You guys speak English or no? Yeah, do you, you know how to get in the venue or no? No, we don't. No? Okay, okay. Is this on your way? All right, all right. here, red, red doors. Go on. Check this out. Oof, oof. This guy's sending us the wrong way. Okay, we gotta follow the back. We go back to the dude and see what's up. All right, okay, cool. So. Yo, Nulov, Nulov and I have not ate yet. So this is about to be a fucking adventurous, adventurous night. I need to eat food though, before we continue any of this. Cause your boy's getting litter by the second and your boy ain't got no food on him, right? So what's about to happen is, what's about to happen is your boy's gonna get too lit. And I'm just vlogging the whole night, bro. I might not even put this shit up in the fucking thing. But we got the motherfucking yours in the motherfucker. We got the motherfucking yours in the motherfucker. Yo, so, ooh. We almost had a fucking breakdown. We needed food. We got pizza. Yes, sir. Now we're about to go to a confessionals. Yes, sir. We went to boy them. Hold up. Hold up. We went to boy them. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yes, sir. But, yo, it is cold as f Holy shit. The Burner Boy concert was super, super, super lit. 10 out of 10. Super lit. 10 out of 10. Man, now we're about to go see what this nightlife's about to do. Ooh, I'm shivering. Oh, I can't even talk, bro. And I think 2024 is going to be a crazy, 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 crazy year. I'm planning on going to Ghana at the end of the year with New Love, Justin, and them. So, um, really excited to guys, keep you guys posted on what's been going on on the marketing side, the sales sides, the content creation side, as well as life itself. After this, we're about to go down to um, get a haircut with Jose and then back to the computer, do some work. I'm gonna pick you guys back up once I hit this shoot location. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of the outside. So, Bro, this is like cottage vibe, so they're renovating the whole property right now. I'm just gonna throw up the drone real quick. Got this uh, DJI drone right here. And then, all right, so we just finished the shoot at uh, second shoot of the day. About to go get my hair cut real quick and then off to do some work on the computer. But man, I think like I was saying, 2024 is gonna be a crazy, crazy year of just growth, man. And um, I just want to do my best to document. I'm not even going to say that this is this is going to happen and this is going to happen. I just want to do my best to catch all the moments, the ups and the downs and stuff like that. But in the meantime, yo, we're looking for a new apartment. Something that I don't, <laughs> I hate doing because it's just, it's just so time consuming. And it's just a lot of energy being put out, you know. Um, but I'm super excited about that moving out and copping a new new spot. First apartment. Used to root, living with roommates in university. Came back home, lived with my moms, and then finally breaking off. She's gonna get her own spot. I'm gonna get my own spot. And. Uh, super excited about that man just excited for the growth i think everything's coming together how it needs to come together and we're just here watching 
the work happen, you know, just the work manifests and the work evolves. So I'm super excited. We started off, like I said, this year was pretty epic of a start. Um, the reason why I keep ducking is because my phone's right there with the suction cup and I'm trying to, <laughs> I need to move it a little bit lower whenever I get the chance, but pick you guys back up when I head down to Jose uh, to get my hair cut. So we'll see you guys there. Welcome to the city. This is the downtown Ottawa, Ottawa U area. All right, hopefully this is a little bit better. I kind of lowered it a little bit. But running late for these uh, for this hair appointment, a little bit of traffic. <sighs> I gotta get a retwist though. What are you gonna twist? You, you have somebody to do it for you? Yeah, the the person uh, is literally right, like down that way. You know, like the there's like a bunch of like hair spots like right on the corner there. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. I see that whenever I walk over to. Uh, the LCBO cook uh, some chicken up. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking uh, maybe a roast chicken or something. You cook like that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. I've been uh, eating at home for the past month. I haven't, bro. Fuck, man. man. Yeah. I've been trying to lose some weight. So yeah? Like diet. So You're hitting the gym too or what? No. Right now I'm just cutting out carbs and sugar. And I've been doing pretty good. Nice. So. It's wild because like, I used to have knee pain. Oh, now it's gone because of it? Yeah. Yeah? Bro, it actually went away. Like, really? All that uh, YouTube shit you keep seeing, like, it actually went away. So you you don't, any sugar at all? No sugar. Nah? No. Like, um, no soda, candy, no, no soda. Yeah. No pastries, no. I need to do that shit. No. Nope. Like, eating a bunch of nonsense, bro. Yeah. Carbs is, was the biggest one to cut out, because with every single meal, there's a carb source. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. Know, even out here, like, even shawarma. For sure, you know I mean? for sure. So that's the hardest thing to cut out. So you just be eating what, like just veggies? Yeah, veggies, protein. like a protein source. Yeah. Veggies. Okay, okay. Or fruit. Have you ever done, I know you're you're not Muslim, but have you ever done like Ramadan? I'm basically doing it now because I fast all day. Okay, okay. Until I get home until like this hour. Yeah, yeah. And this is around when the sun goes down. Yeah? And by the time my meal's ready, it's already dark. So. Okay. I've been doing that. Yeah, it's one meal a day. Nice. It's good. It's good for it's good for the body, man. Like I feel good. Like I feel energized. Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm like a little bit hungry, but yeah, it goes away in waves. No, for sure. Especially save money on. Trust me, man. Fucking uh, expensive ass food out here. Trust me. I'm supposed to be uh, doing a podcast with T Dot at the end of the month. Yeah, yeah, you were telling me last um, time. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to be at the studio, but I, I think we're just going to do it at Hide and Seek and just see how it goes. Maybe just pull up on everybody at yeah. their location, you know? Yeah. Switch it up. Where are the, the topics you, you talk about with them? I don't know. It's just like, honestly, just how you got started in, you know, your career. Obviously, you've made a business out of it. Um, and just kind of like, it's kind of like my own conversation, you know, just whatever yeah. I find interesting, I just kind of dive into the topic. It's nothing really like pre-scripted, you know? Yeah. Well, that'll be a good one. Because everyone hears of Tito, you know, in the city. A hundred percent. It'll be a good exposure to see what it really is about and stuff. Mm -hmm. He's done a lot though, like even with his the Red Blacks, the Hot 89.9 stuff, yeah, you know, it's, it's just like a lot. Yeah, everybody knows him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say his name, it's like, oh yeah, I've no, heard of that name. For sure. City just posted a, a video of how the studio's getting renovated. It looks like a mini nightclub now. Like, really? Uh, like, yeah. I think they put, um, I don't know what it's called, but I think it's proxy floors, it looks like, like all white floors. Mm. And like there's like just nice little lighting. It's done already? Yeah, like it's it's still in progress, but he showed progress pictures and like where the TV was, it's like all black and there's like a little seat under the TV like with cushions and stuff. It, it looks like a, a lounge That's vibe sick. type, you know? That's sick. I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, no. I think they're they're trying to do more of like um kind of like membership type program. So Obviously, like the aesthetic is. It's key, yeah. Yeah. 
get some music? Yeah, but I th like obviously like a creative clubhouse almost, you know? Mm. Um, I think, that, yeah, they're definitely still going to do music, but I think with like the direction that City wants to go and just, it's more, has to be more like presentable, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's sick. What are you saying this weekend? Um, just a lot of editing, man. Just glued behind the computer. We're, we're, we're starting to like move out. Mm -hmm. um, with the company you work with? No, we're starting to, yeah, the company that we work at, but like we're, I'm moving out of the apartment that I'm at. Oh, okay, okay. And then I think we have like a couple showings tomorrow. But bro, houses are fucking expensive, eh? Fuck like yeah. even to rent. Yeah, bro. Right now it's crazy. Holy fuck. I've been looking for shops. Man, it's not, it's not possible right now. No, eh? Oh. What are they asking? Like fucking four or five grand a month? Yep. Oh, Thirty. Cheapest I found is 35. Wow. It's for like a basement unit to send. What the fuck? Like, Ideally, you said you'd want the shop down here? No, man. I would love it. Like in the plaza and inside the city. Inside the city? Yeah, man. Okay. It could be anywhere west end, east end. Yeah. Preferably west, but. Like closer to your crib? Yeah. Okay. Wherever it's cheap. Wherever it's cheap and not near a hood. Would you think like it would be <clears throat> possible? Let's say you were uh, to like just get a crib, like uh, an apartment for like, let's say 21, 22, and then just get the shop out of there? Or is that kind of. That's possible. Yeah. Just integrate my life in it. Yeah. Yeah, that's possible. That's a. I think I'll do that if like, if I see the price is still on the high end. Yeah. And yeah. I'm ready like to move on past this place. Mm -hmm. Then I'll do that. I'll find a, a nice spot with a garage and just fucking soup it up. Yeah, yeah. It's probably cheaper than yeah. commercial lease or whatever. I actually have a friend I used to work with. He. Uh, he, that's exactly what he did. He has a, a townhouse with a garage. Is it, uh, what's his name? The, I feel like his name, he, I don't know, something with like Backwoods or something? Oh, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Illy Woods. Illy Woods, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, I used to work with him back in the day. And uh, where, where, in the where barber shop where at? I first started. Um, I think he's out in Barhaven. Mm. But he made it really nice. Yeah, you might as well. It's just like, bro, I feel like everybody's just trying to get the most out of everybody these days, you know? Yeah. Illy Woods. He makes music too or no? No. 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 Just, uh, just a really good barber. Mm. He used to be my barber when... We work together. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm looking to start like something. I don't know, like a project or like the pr like, a project or I don't know, some something else. Like apart from barbering? Yeah. Yeah. Because barbering is cool, but it's just you get bored. Mm -hmm. You ever thought about like being a kind of like a celebrity barber or something? I, I think like when when we first uh, linked. I think your your Instagram was was popping, no? Or your it's your, you were your YouTube, no? No, it was uh, it was from a few years back. Mm. I just never really man. caught on it. Imagine you could have been out of here. Yeah, no, bro. Fuck, man. I think it it's still not too late. The channel's still there, you know. Yeah, it is different now. Before you can just do haircut videos and you get the you get the views, you know. Yeah. Now uh, you just. You gotta do what you're doing. I'm trying, bro. Like, I'm just, tr I just wanna, at the end of the day, you just wanna wake up and be you, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be dope, though, if you, like, just set up a camera and just all your conversations, you just kind of make vlogs out of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, there are some interesting people that come in, for sure. Yeah. You've been recording with the phone more, more. Uh, I think I mean I think I'm going to because it's just so accessible, and yeah. it's you don't really need a big big setup, you know. The quality's dope enough, so. Mm -hmm. 
I see them trying to, like, they do the comparison between, like, a DSLR and the iPhone Pro Max, and it's damn near the same, bro. Like, yeah. everybody watching damn near can't tell the difference, so. Yeah. And nobody really cares about the, yeah. the fancy B-roll anymore. No, 100%. I think soon, in the next, like, I would say in the next, like, five years, I think you're going to see, like, everybody just always filming something, you know? Yeah. Like, I think L.A. obviously has a head start on that with everybody, like, because that's probably one of the hubs for, like, YouTube and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I don't think, like, places like Ottawa and even the people like Wolfie and all them that kind of kick-started it in the city i don't think they'd be filming anymore as much you know yeah they they kind of just got stuck on the pranking yeah and uh after that the uh the gag videos not gag but like skit yeah 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 like destroying like a wall or something you know what i mean mm -hmm. kind of weird <laughs> but uh yeah I, I didn't see them do anything past that Well, yeah, I went to high school with them. They were in my class. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the David Parody guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do, the they still do, do they still do YouTube videos or no? I don't know. I think they're more TikTok. Okay. But, uh, yeah. yeah. We're in the same class. We're classmates. What's, what and school? The, the Ryan guy, the white guy. Uh, St. Pat's. St. Pat's? Yeah. It's crazy, eh? Yeah. Were crazy. they were they like that in high school or not? <clears throat> yeah, they they were always the popular kids in, in class. Mm. Everyone knew them. Like they were the nerdy popular, you know. Yeah, yeah. Everyone knew them. They were funny. Very they were very very social. They were filming and stuff, or at the time, or no, 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 no. They just had the personality. Yeah. Like when I see them now, I'm like, yo, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. They were like that in high school. Mm-hmm. All it takes is like one year, you know? Yeah. Just one year. It really does, man. One year to focus. Mm -hmm. So you uploaded YouTube yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have so much clips that I just need to put together. You're, you're, you're in like testing out mode, huh? Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm... The first step is just picking up the camera, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'll probably just compile a whole bunch of, make it like a 30, 40 minute vlog. Yeah. Because I have footage all the way from like Florida, you know? I find uh, what's doing really well right now on YouTube with the uh, vlogging is travel vlog. Yeah. Where people go to different places. Yeah, yeah. It's not only about your face, you're it's pointing like what you're, it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you're exploring places that people would want to go to. But for sure. And then there's another genre of that where people go to the actual hoods and people where they avoid. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, that, I, that's I, fucked up. With the, with the, you seen the, the white boy, um, Big Dog's Gotta Eat? No, no, I haven't seen him. Like, he goes to hoods all over the country and just, like, clicks up with rappers in the yeah. hood. Like, yeah. Yeah, people do that in, like, in, like, Colombia, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's like it's it's like your it's journalism at the end of the day. That's yeah. what it is, you know. Yeah. There's just two crazy uh, YouTubers that went to the uh, you know where uh, Cent Central America and South America meet. Yeah. There's no roads there. It's just a, a jungle. It's they call it uh, the 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 Darien Split, something like that. <laughs> so what? People be getting kidnapped and shit, or what? No, well, people travel through that to oh, escape. Yeah? up north okay and so these guys it went through that whole entire route escaped all the way from south illegally crossed through central illegally crossing what to, if, to see what the migrant life is to travel to the United and they just States. youtubed it yeah oh my thing. gosh the whole thing <laughs> they would cross the border they would swam over the border like all the countries like and there's like, no patrol and stuff or yeah, what yeah they caught, got caught a couple of times okay, and got okay. deported back but they did it that's crazy. Millions of views, probably, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, though. They're riding the train, and they rode the train all the way to the States. Makes sense.
Imagine just like one random video, boom, million freaking views, boom, now your channel hits yeah. 100,000 overnight, and boom, now your life has changed forever. Yeah, now you're collabing with the oh other, yeah, that's the way it happens though. What, what, what's he doing? Oh, he's fucking, uh, he's kidnapping, uh, well, he's making a sting operation for to catch predators. Oh, okay, okay, for, okay. For underage. Yeah, yeah. And he kidnaps them, and he does shit to them. For real? Yeah. Puts it on YouTube? Yeah. What the hell? But, like, shit, like, that won't get you arrested, like. That won't get you arrested? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, Like, okay. he had this guy sitting in, in the truck with him. He's treating him like a bitch, you know? He's yeah. like, sit there. And the guy's like, <laughs> just sitting there, you know? And then he's like, he opens some little package, he's like, eat this. <laughs> it's a one one hot chip, you know, the one oh, hot chip then, challenge. Oh, and then they're dying. <laughs> bro, oh. he ate it. He has to eat it, you know? He's all sad and shit. And he's fucking dying, bro. His they, face is turning red. It's like they have no choice. Yeah, no choice. Yeah. <laughs> and he's using that for content. That's hilarious. Rust. How I look? How do I look? Good, bro. <laughs> All right, I can uh, I can take off my hat now. Yeah. Good. Appreciate it, bro. All right, yo, shout out your Instagram where they can hit you up at. All that good stuff. Uh, real underscore barber. So R E A L underscore barber, and you spell the barber with a three. All right. All right, all right, all right. Just got a haircut. Do not mind my uh, my frizzy hair. I got to get a retwist, but neither here nor there. On to the next stop. Yeah, I've been on the road since damn near 9 o'clock this morning. Like, literally, like, damn near driving since 9 o'clock this morning, it feels like. And your boy is still rolling, bruh. Holy. All right, so right now we're about to go check out another another spot. I kind of fuck with these mics, though. These mics are pretty, uh, pretty solid, the DJI mics. It could hook up to the camera. It could hook up to your phone. However you want it, however you want it. All right, yo, I told Jose every two weeks, I'm going to be at your spot getting a cut. So just trying to turn everything up this year, man. Just everything, bro. I feel like this year is going to be the year that just brings you closer to everything if you really put in the work, you know? So... But yeah, we're about to go check out another spot, another location, another um, whatever apartment, yada, 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 all that good stuff. I'm trying to move out by April 1st, just because um, the apartment that I, uh, I was at with my mom's, <laughs> sadly, we're going our separate ways, sadly. So I just want to at least have a spot by April 1st and... But, yo, the prices are kind of crazy. I mean, it depends who you're asking, but it's like 2200 for a one-bedroom is pretty much what they're saying for this one spot that we were looking at. But I might I might just be like, bro, this is the year that you're betting on yourself, right? So if you want to make that happen, you can definitely make that happen. I mean, we might be looking at the wrong things. We're just looking at... We're just, yo, know, I think the question should be, where's the opportunities at, right? Instead of, ah, oh, that shit costs too much. It's like, okay, how am I going to make it work? You know, how am I going to make it work? I think that should be the real question. How are you going to make it work? That is the question I'm asking myself all year. How are you going to make it work, bro? Literally. But it feels good, man. Energy has been out at an all-time high. Might need to grab another coffee. Cause I still got some work to do uh, at the when I get back to the crib, and the weather's getting nicer in Ottawa. That's a that's a big plus, bro. The weather's getting hella nice in the city. A 
like, yo, I, that, that was like a quick haircut, but that's a damn year vlog right there, damn 20 minutes. Little quick little cut, little taper on the side. Get fresh, get right for the Friday die. What you know about that? Anyways, I'm going to pick you guys back up when we go check out some more apartments and let us see what I do. All right, I'm going to pick you guys back up when I go check out some more apartments later today. I have an appointment at 7 o'clock, so uh, we'll see what that does. Finally made it back to the crib. The boy's tired as hell, bro. Been on the road since um, 9 a.m. And... Uh, Still got to do some editing before I shut things down for the night. But I was trying to go to Best Buy real quick to get a tripod stand. Because what I really want to do is do more of these um, TikTok lives, especially with the iPhone. Because the iPhone is just, it's just easier to kind of get things off and not really have to worry about, um, not really have to worry about setting up a big camera, bring it out, and, you know, checking your ISO and all that stuff. So, um, I just got my health card, my new health card in the mail. Damn, look at your boy. Damn, looking like a model or some shit, bro. <laughs> Yeah, really just, I think it's going to be mad easy with this iPhone just to make content and not really have to worry about nothing. All you need is a solid little mic. Um, like I said, I'm using the iPhone 15, so hopefully I can just continue. I got a lot of content that I got to go through and just like break down, edit, put together. So um, looking forward to that. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow when I uh, pop outside for more videos. How you doing? Hey. All right, so check this out. Another day, another grind session. Right now we're about to head to, um, I'm about to get some water real quick at Shoppers. Then I have a shoot for a real estate development project that's going on i'm gonna do like again same thing like yesterday but at a different location for a real estate developer um then i obviously need to grab coffee real quick and then after that today if i have enough time i'm gonna go over to my boy's house to help him move because he's moving and then i'm supposed to meet up with Doomy to um play some pool so it's gonna be a calm day and then in between that i'm gonna obviously get some work in but uh, yeah, it was a long ass day yesterday, but I mean, it's what we signed up for, right? I submitted another application for an apartment on the Gatineau side, so hopefully we get that um, if all goes well. We should hear back from them by Monday and um, they're coming to check the house again, so that's why I have to leave the house early at 1030. And that's about it. That's about it, man. The challenge is the challenge is going to be holding up this camera all day while we uh oh yeah, and before that, I have to go to Best Buy real quick and grab a tripod because when I'm doing these shoots, I want to just have it propped up so I don't have to rely on anybody to hold it. So Shoppers Drug Mart, Best Buy. Before that, Tim Hortons or McDonald's coffee real quick. Starting to warm up. Summer's almost around the corner. And I'm going to pick you guys back up when I hit up uh, Shoppers. All right. So I got the water. And now we're about to... Should I run to Tim Hortons real quick? Or after? Let me just go to... Damn. Damn. And the goal is just to crush one of these a day, dog. All right, let me just head to Best Buy real quick. <laughs> okay. 
How you doing, boss? Good. Good, good. Alright. Let's make this quick. Find it on. Find a tripod. Let me see where they are. Cameras, cameras. Hey. It's about to be my second Best Buy in two days, so let's see if we can make it work. How you doing, boss? Yeah, I'm looking for a tripod for an iPhone that like doesn't have a ring light or anything like that. Just like. Do you have a one that like has some height to it or no? Yeah, the. Uh, this one would be something portable and larger, right? but this one would be like a longer full height. Okay. What about um... this one? Is more flexible where you can do a lot of stuff with it. Where that one, it's just like this. This is how tall like this, this tall? This one. This is what it is. Okay. Okay. So, but it is more portable. Whereas that one, you'd have to set it up and you can like, move it around that much. Okay. Man, you don't know where I can get like a. Like even something like this that just doesn't have a ring light on it. Um, this is like the, the second Best Buy that I went to. You think Walmart might have it? Um, I think this you could just take this one and use a ring light whenever you need it. But if you don't need it, you can put it as like on the side, so you can remove the ring light. Obviously. How tall does this go? This one, let's say over here. I might have to go to. Um, but this would this be like, like a proper full edge camera. It comes with a smartphone attachment as well, yeah. so you should be good in that scenario. Okay. And if you yeah, we have this one is two hundred bucks, but this one's on pretty good sale. I don't believe this has a smartphone. Attachment. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, looking for something for the phone. You think I'm probably better off doing it like on Amazon, like just getting those those ones on Amazon? I mean, these are right over here. You can just grab one right now. Yeah, no, I know, but it's just like this is. I'm not gonna spend two hundred on a. Yeah. You know. I just need a like. Oh, like this, like this. Uh, this is more of a selfie stick. Yeah, but it has yeah, a. But it has a kind of stand in there as well. Do you know how tall this goes? So this one would again. Twenty-two inches, so two feet. So definitely more than the other one. This one, where they can like portable, they can use it with their hands, or they can like put it on places that are uneven, like the mountains or tied up on a, like a bar or something like that. Yeah. This is very flexible in terms of because uh, it's adjustable legs, so you can do whatever you want, whatever shape you need. Okay. I seen like cheaper ones though on like forty bucks that go like really high. That's that's kind of what I was looking for. Almost like four, at least like four or five feet, you know. Let me double check if this one has a mobile mount. But and I can just put it on desks and stuff like that, and just leave it like that. All right, credit. All right, I appreciate it, boss. Take care. All right, so checkpoint number one. All right, take care, boss. Um, checkpoint number one. Now we're about to go to uh, McDonald's real quick. Got me a little coffee, but I got me a tripod, so we'll see how this works. We'll see what it does. And then we're going to go to, uh, again, I got about like an hour to go to this shoot shoot starts at 12 so i'm gonna pick you guys back up when i hit mcdonald's all right real quick we're at another real estate development shoot that we're doing um before they show up i'm just gonna be getting some drone footage the weather's pretty calm um should be quick uh yeah it's a pretty dope ass neighborhood in uh Manitick. this is where all the all the all the all the rich people come out you know they get away from the city and they come out here so i like this drone because it's like you don't have to use your phone you can just you have the monitor on the screen here so 
so it's pretty dope. all right my camera just dropped luckily it's still in good shape but got the drone footage um about to set up the camera real quick get all the audio and all that stuff ready and then we'll pick you guys back up when we start filming a little bit more all right so before we start shooting real quick i just want to show the houses around here for some quick motivation um, it's a dope ass neighborhood. All the houses are like a football field away from each other. Let me show you. It's mad dope. I'm gonna be here sooner than later. Use that as motivation and keep rolling, man. <laughs> 